This is how I made the frame for this backdrop for about $10. Go to Home Depot and get three 1x4 pieces of wood. They don't have to be pressure treated, so you can get away with buying the cheap ones, which are only about $3. Uh, they need to be about 8 feet tall. And then you're going to cut out a shape that looks like this. Basically, from the 2 feet mark, you're going to cut out 1 inch on either side and then cut a straight line down so that it's in the shape of a stick. So if you can understand what we're doing here, we're basically going to cut this bottom portion out, staple the backdrop to the flat side of the 1x4, and hammer this staked portion into the ground. You don't have to make perfect cuts. It doesn't matter because none of this frame is going to be seen. So if they're not perfect or you've got a dull blade like this one, it really doesn't matter. I'm also just making an excuse for my poor craftsmanship. But make two of them, lay them out on the ground, Pull the backdrop flush and tight against it, and then take a staple gun and staple it into the posts. Once you've done this to both sides, you're going to take the third, uh, third one by four, and you're going to measure across the top. Um, to see just how long you need it to be and this part is going to be secured to the top of the um, Backdrop so that it stays nice and flush and so that the frame stays um, Adds a little bit more support The tops of these frames are going to get cut off and these are what are going to hold the top header to the side posts if that makes sense so once you cut these excessive pieces off You'll see how the header butts up against the side post. Screw it in a few sides to um, that extra wood. Screw it into the header. Screw it into the post so that um, it stays nice and flat, nice and flush, nice and secure. Staple the backdrop to it and then just take a rubber mallet and hammer it down. You can take a regular hammer, but a rubber one will make sure that the wood doesn't get damaged. And that's what it looks like in the ground. That's what it looks like once you've uh, put it in the ground we've added some bales of hay and some balloons came out really great and, and that's all there is to it